Good morning, amigos. Dr. Doug here at GoBodyTrust.com. Found an article or two here, both from Science Daily. Let me read this headline. Ah, common acid reflux medications linked to increased kidney disease risk. So this just brings up the fact that drugs, that is pharmaceuticals, are heavy-handed. They go in, they fix the problem. Yes! Which is good, because in emergencies, that's exactly what you need. If you're about to die, you need that drug that's going to save your life. Or uh, if you're going to lose an organ, or you're going to lose a limb, you need something real fast and real serious, right? But then they have side effects because they're stirring up the waters, you know? Uh, and uh, then you have to deal with the side effects afterwards. Well, in a non-emergency, like acid reflux, that's not an emergency. Uh, a drug is going to cause problems, probably. Now, the, uh, the MD who prescribed it, of course, wants you to call it a med. These are meds. Uh, because drug has a bad connotation. But amongst themselves, they just call it drugs. Anyway, I've treated a lot of acid reflux people, and I always get a cure when they follow my instructions and back off the food, because that's what the body's telling you. It's saying too much food or the wrong food, food that I can't digest. Too much food or food I can't digest, specific foods, right? So we track down those specific foods. The first thing, of course, I find out is that people who have acid reflux are always eating to prevent hunger. So how can you be clean inside if you're not hungry? Empty feeling in the stomach area that motivates you to go out and get food, right? Empty feeling in the stomach area. So if you don't have that, you're going to have digestive issues. And one of those issues is coming back up, right? That's that acid, that heat, that stomach fire that comes back up and it's damn uncomfortable. Uh, and it is a re reaction to uh, indigestible food, food stagnation, acute food stagnation. So backing off the food is the key. I use hunger awareness training to do that. We get down to the real reasons why people are eating and solve those reasons, fix that, and answer those, those requests instead of food. Occasionally, I have had hurt heartburn at night. I mean, three or four times a year. It's always because I ate a, too much food or something really spicy and too much of it. Usually too much of it. Uh, so I'll have it at night. And then I'll, I'll get up, I'll sit up, and I'll drink some ice water. Wow. That really works. Because it's, it's stomach fire, and it likes cold. So it's just a little remedy. But, you know, the real answer, of course, is to eat less food. Uh, and that's linked to this other article I found. Vigorous exercise and fasting improve elimination of toxic, misfolded, unnecessary proteins in mouse and human cells. You know, these proteins that hang around uh, they cause disease. They age you. And so, once again, right back to the same old thing. Vigorous exercise every day and fasting, which means eating less food. Fasting just means not eating. So you need to go for long periods of time. I'm not talking about a week's fast or days fasting. I'm talking about eating less food. Uh, let your body clear out. Let your body go after all that garbage food, all that half-processed food that causes problems, including fat cells, which is half-processed food, right? Fat, excess fat. Let your body eat it and go after those proteins. That are uh, that cellular debris. Clean your body out. Well, that's all for today, amigos. Uh, have a great weekend, and uh, I'll see you Monday. Hasta, hasta entonces.